One thing I'm going to say about T.I. and Tiny is, man, listen, if my wife ain't like this, I don't want her. T.I. and Tiny, obviously, first of all, let's celebrate this black love right here. Round of applause. T.I. and Tiny obviously have made up their mind to be something like Will and Jada Smith. It's like we're going to go through it in life, but we're not leaving each other. And not only that, we are going to win together. T.I. and Tiny have built a sizable empire. This is before this lawsuit. They had millions. Now, let me say this before I start this story. Black people, my people, I'm convinced that we are our worst enemy. The reason being is I remember when this OMG girls trial started. I remember when T.I. and Tiny were challenging this company and they were going for their their rights their money it was majority black people who were saying them dolls don't look nothing like what y'all talking about oh please they just going after money ti go sit your ass down somewhere tiny stop your stupidity it was black people that was telling them they shouldn't do it and they couldn't do it now look at what the outcome is man listen if this ain't proof to you that when you get a man and a woman that forms a team in the side of God and decide to stand and fight and celebrate life with each other, the wins and the losses and whatnot, you bound to come up with some big wins, baby. This right here, T.I. said to Rolling Stone, he said they were the ones that came and ripped us off. And then they expected us not to have the audacity to stand up and speak for ourselves. Well, I think they got the right one, but I think they tried the wrong one. Because everybody knows T.I. is a man of many words. Very eloquently spoken. He might be from the hood or from a trap, but he knows how to switch it up. And he can very much get corporate. So, Hip Hop Mogul. T.I. and his wife, Tamika Tiny Harris, they scored a massive $71 million jewelry award after winning their third court trial over claims that Toy Titan MGA Entertainment violated the intellectual property rights of their teen pop group OMG Girls with its wildly popular LOL surprise omg line of dolls damn now that's a hefty sum of money 71 million dollars jurors awarded the couple and their companies 17.9 million dollars in real damages and a whopping astronomical 53.6 million dollars more on top of that in punitive damages following a three-week trial in a federal courtroom in Santa Ana, California. Now remember, this was the third court trial over this. Took him to court, took him to court again, took him to court again, again and again and again. And this is why black people were saying, well, give it up. They're not going to give you anything. I don't know, man. I guess because folks are so used to losing or they have never won anything this big, they project. So they feel like nobody else like my kind can never win anything this big. But you got to understand who T.I. and Tiny is. They've been winning for decades now, right? So they don't think with the average hood ninja mind. They don't think with the average person's mind. I mean, wow. They did more than I thought they would. This is what Tiny said, right? They did a Rolling Stone interview and Tiny said, wow, they did more than I thought they would as she reacted to the eye-popping award amount. I would have been happy with whatever. I just wanted, you know, she just wanted her rights to not be violated. Somebody just rip off and do a whole sample of your own invention and they're making millions off of it and they're telling you that that's not what it is when you can clearly see that's what it is. But to win this big, she said, they blessed us more than beyond. We wanted to thank the jurors so badly, 
but we didn't get the opportunity to. Now, in a complex verdict, the jurors said that $13 among more than 30 at issue infringed on the trade dress and misappropriated the name, image, and likeness of the all-female band that T.I. and Tiny formed in 2009 with Tiny's daughter. Her daughter name is Zanique Starr Pullins on a core, as a core member. A 14th doll violated the group's trade dress while a 15th doll misappropriated the OMG girl's name image and likeness the jury also found in other words plain and simple they ripped these people's shit off i think justice was served i think it's a statement to the relentless and resilience of my wife my daughter and nieces ti tells rolling stone while they were doing a phone interview minutes after the verdict was read he said that we are just happy and we're able to come out on top and fight for creative and intellectual property that large corporations seem to think is just public domain and free for all to come and just grab and use. He called the verdict a win for the people who actually put the hard work and effort into building and creating things from nothing. It's not right for somebody to come and steal your ideas and steal your invention because they have a big company that can pump millions of dollars into manufacturing and bringing to fruition and reality your bright ideas, right? So that's what we really went to court and fought for. Now, during the trial, the MGA's lawyers called the couple's lawsuit a money grab. They said that T.I. and Tiny were just after some money and they know damn well that this has nothing to do with theirs. T.I. said he was happy that the jury did not agree with that. And I think that was a bully tactic that he was trying to use to paint me as the bad guy when really they were the bad ones. They were the ones that came and ripped us off. And then they expected us to not have the audacity to stand up and speak for ourselves. That kind of condescension comes from when you're not really in touch with the reality of culture after you've gone so long kind of having it your way and nobody really standing up and speaking out against you. Privilege. Outside the courthouse, Tiny thanked her legal team, including John Cavill, Chante Westmoreland, Robert Green, and B. Ivory Lamar, at the end of the day, the evidence showed that MGA stole from us. They stole from our creation. She tells Rolling Stone, she also said, I'm glad that we stuck with it. No one could tell me they did not steal from us. I mean, bruh, it was super obvious, okay? If you look at the paperwork, I'm going to show you the paperwork. If you look at it, you could definitely see that that is exactly what they did. Now, at trial, T.I. and Tiny alleged that MGA marketed several specific dolls with looks that copied the way that the OMG girls appeared at very specific public events or in publicized photographs. MGA denied those allegations its billionaire founder, Isaac Lorraine, testified that T.I. and Tiny and the three members of the OMG girls, Zanique, Star, Pullins, Baja, Beauty, Rodriguez, and Brianna, Baby Doll, Womack, they played no role in the design of his dolls. He calls all of them extortionists. Pullins, Rodriguez, and Womack, they attended the trial, and they testified. They hugged in the hallways outside the courtroom after the verdict was read. I'm so grateful and I'm so overwhelmed with joy, Womack says. Pullins add, when the judge asked if we had a memorable trade dress and everyone raised their hands, I got so emotional, we all silently cried. Now, in their closing argument, the sides sparred over the scope of OMG's girls' fame. 
what constituted market confusion and the difference between inspiration and misappropriation, Kevill showed jurors more than a dozen social media posts from people saying they believed that the MGA dolls were based on the OMG girls. I'm going to tell you the truth. When I saw the dolls, I myself thought, damn, Ti and Tiny doing it big. They're going all out for this group, this group of girls. They've even went and made their dolls already. You know, they normally make dolls for people after they get really famous. The girls hadn't been that famous yet. They were out making the rounds, building, and growing. So when I saw it, I thought it was T.I. and Tiny that made the dolls. And then came the legal issues, and that's when I learned that it was not T.I. and Tiny, but MGA that made a copy of those girls. And I said, damn. That's wicked. And what if they can't do anything about it? But I hope they can. And I'm thankful that they did. This case is really about one side that believes that they can do whatever they want to do. And that they can push people around. You know, they have a billionaire owner. He also pointed out that four consumers gave sworn testimonies either live or through videotaped depositions saying that they had assumed that the OMG girls were behind the MGA dolls. I myself thought they were. MGA's lawyer, Paul J. Lowe, called the infringement allegations baseless and offensive, saying that his clients sold more than 40 million LOL surprise OMG dolls and never received not one complaint from a customer saying they were confused about a possible association with the OMG girls. It's not right what's happening, the attorney said of the infringement claims during his closing argument. We're here to vindicate the truth. Well, now that I know that, they have more than enough money to pay. $71 million is more, they sold 40 million of the LOL surprise OMG dolls. 40 million at about $20 a pop is what? So they can more than afford to pay TI and Tiny $71 million. And not only that, their rights are restored. The jury delivered their verdict after two prior juries heard much of the same evidence in a prior proceeding with the same judge, U.S. District Court Judge James V. Selna. The first trial was in January of 2023, and that one ended in a mistrial when the jurors heard barred testimony accusing the toy company of cultural appropriation. That squashed that first one. The case got its second trial in spring of 2023, with the jury handing down a victory to MGA, T.I. and Tiny, they were granted a retrial in September of 2023 after the Supreme Court ruled, because they fought it, man. They fought it all the way to the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court ruled in June of 2023 that the First Amendment didn't necessarily protect a dog toy company that created a humorous true toy that looked like a bottle of Jack Daniels whiskey. Justice Elena Kagan's opinion sent the message that consumer confusion should carry more weight than previously thought in infringement cases involving expressive works. Now, when he testified earlier that month, T.I. said that he believed that the seven dolls represented undeniably blatant infringement when compared to the look that the OMG girls wore to specific events such as their all around the world tour and a New Year's Eve performance they did in Atlanta. You can hold them up to these pictures and you can see that that's them. Anyone with eyes can see that this picture influenced those dolls, he said. T.I. said that his camp had narrowed the number of allegedly infringed dolls from more than 30 down to the specific seven to focus on the more most undeniable 
alleged theft and also to save time because they had about they had they, they got a whole bunch of dolls right so they narrowed it down let's not go in there and argue about 30 of them let's argue about these seven because these seven you can tell are specifically about these girls and boom they won 71 million dollars shout out to ti and tiny man and i look forward to seeing many more years you know people like me we've been here me and ti is the same age group we've been here since the beginning of these guys um of their journey into music and to see it now years ahead decades later still out here doing big things still together and still growing and shining and showing improving i'm loving it i'm loving it leave your comments in the comment section below did you think that those lol dolls were actually a replica ripoff of the uh girls or did you think not let's talk about it i'll catch y'all on the next video hit that subscribe button i'm out peace